We believe that the world is involved in climate change and environmental change that's unprecedented, due largely, uh, or at least in part, to man's impact. It's not enough to just figure out how to stop the emissions of, of uh, greenhouse gases. It's also important to plan for the future. So how do we prepare now? for the adaptation that we'll have to do, not only next year, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, 50 years from now. It's a great challenge and one that involves a lot of basic research, a lot of what I call solution science, science aimed at answering problems that we know that we're going to face. So this is sort of like a groundbreaking moment where we're, where we're integrating the best thinkers in the world in each of their separate, separate fields um, to, to think jointly on the same problem. We gave this gift because we uh, believe in UCSD, Scripps Institute of Oceanography, and we believe that Scripps and the multidisciplinary capabilities represented by UCSD represent a resource for humanity to take on the challenges that will come based on what we call climate change as we live in an evolving world impacted by our own activities. The new center that's been funded by this wonderful gift is a center for climate change adaptation. It builds on the terrific reputation of Scripps Oceanography in detecting climate change and then being able to attribute that climate change to its various causes. Uh, how much is natural variation? How much is human caused by human activities? And now that we know how much climate is changing, we understand that we're going to adapt to some of these changes. These problems can't be solved by physical oceanographers, they can't be solved by engineers, and they can't be solved by, by social scientists or planners alone. They, the, these groups need to integrate together in order to figure out how to solve, solve these problems. And the great thing about the center is that from the beginning, we have social scientists, we have policy makers, we have engineers, and we have scientists all in the same room talking and thinking about how it is that we're gonna address these problems. Up until now, most of our work has focused on how climate is changing and the beginnings of the impact. What this allows us to do is to take a multidisciplinary approach to that next step and how do we respond to those climate changes as a society. These are the great challenges and it's going to take insights, both academic and professional, industrial, it's going to take leadership at the policy level, and all of that has to be informed with the best possible information. And we think that Scripps Institute of Oceanography and UCSD can bring that to the table. What can I say? We're true believers in public education and what a fabulous job University of California does. So it's kind of a natural fit, um, along with Dick's science background, that we would find Scripps and this part of UCSD, something so valuable and worth supporting, and um, feel very excited about it. We have two young grandsons and soon to be baby granddaughter, and uh, I think having that second generation coming along, um, not only do you see kind of the cycle of life and how the whole system works, but um, you ca we care tremendously that that younger generation will be able to enjoy a similar world to the one that we enjoy now.